Yo, what's up guys? Passe Baller here. We are now this ninth game of this uh, 11 games in this uh, October 28, 2022 NBA game day. It's just a few more, it's just like, I don't know, three games left and we're good to go. Okay, I'm tired and I'm sleepy, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, let's uh, take this one. It's Utah Jazz uh, visiting Denver Nuggets and that will be at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So that's 9 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passe Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's talk about this one. Utah Jazz, they're having a record of four wins and one loss. Um, and Denver Nuggets is displaying a record of three wins and two losses. Apparently and currently, Utah Jazz is actually having a better standings, a better standing compared to Denver Nuggets, which is, as we all know, uh, if you take a look at the paper, a much, much better team as compared to Utah, uh, wherein a lot of people are actually considering Utah as a tanking or as a rebuilding team, but I guess they're showing otherwise, right? The spread, by the way, is a minus 8.5 given to Denver Nuggets. This is going to be the second time that uh, these two teams will actually meet. Um, the first time was uh, their first game, right? The first time that they met was the very first uh, game, the very first games of these two teams. And the score ended with Utah. No, that's not it. The score ended, yeah, the score ended with the uh, Utah Jazz defeating Denver Nuggets by 21 freaking points, man. 123-102. Now, with that said, I'm pretty sure that Denver Nuggets would want to have some sort of a bounce back or, in short, revenge game uh, on this one, especially now that it's going to be Denver Nuggets who will be playing at the front, in front of their, home, uh, of their home crowd. And right now, Denver Nuggets are already aware of what Utah can do, you know? Uh, this is not really an ordinary rebuilding or tanking team, you know? Jordan Clarkson, one of the best off the bench players, is now actually uh, in the starting in the starting five. Mike Conley is actually trying to step it up. Uh, they have a lot of bigs who ain't really on the top uh, top list of bigs, but really hustlers, getting those rebounds, getting those defense, willing to willing to go out there and sacrifice their buddies to, to you know to just put up one stop or to just at least grab one rebound. That's the kind of you know that's the kind of attitude that you would want to have with your bigs. I'm talking about marketing. I'm talking about uh, olinic. You know, then marketing is not just like that. You know, marketing is also a high score man. It's averaging like 22 points a game, 8.5 points. That's gonna be so hard for me to pass on, especially with how Utah Jazz is performing right now. Again, Utah Jazz's record is 4-1, so it's gonna be so hard for me to say no to. Plus 8.5 for Utah, even though I know uh, Denver Nuggets should have and would have some sort of uh, revenge plan on this particular uh, matchup. Now, also, I would want to check on the uh, injury list for this one. Um, I think there, I've seen a lot of names earlier. Uh, for Utah Jazz, I see three names. Um, Rudy Gay is listed as out. Kessler and Sexton listed as game time decision. Now for Denver Nuggets, um, I see four names down here. It's Gillespie who's listed as out, while KCP, MPJ, and David Reed, and Devon Reed are all listed as game time decision. So not sure uh, whether those play whether those players would you know would, would suit or what or whatnot, but I'm still siding with Utah Jazz, just like I said in the previous videos. I think we would make money out of this Utah Jazz team. Uh, the bookies are still not satisfied with the, with what they can do. We're still giving them a huge plus, even though they are actually winning. So let's side with Utah Jazz with a plus 8.5. Again, my pick would be Utah Jazz plus 8.5. Peace out. Pass love. God bless.